type of video today I'm doing a voiceover see if it helps anybody with form or just if you like this type of video or commentary all right so first we're getting into some t-bar rows I really like to focus pulling my elbows back as you can see like my thumbs are in line with my fingers instead of behind them gripping the other side of the bar that helps with my forearm so they don't work more than my actual lats Next, we got some single arm cable rows. I really like to do the same exact thing, but keep my elbows pointed down instead of pointing out to the side. See, I'm doing a little bit right there, but really pulling my lats back right here. It's okay to come off the bench, but as long as you're not using momentum to do it. Here we go back into our next set. Worked up to three plates. I forgot how many reps I did. I think this was 10. But as you see my face, I'm actually working the muscle instead of ego lifting like I used to. Here's some lap pull downs. Really focus on pulling my elbows down. That's one key thing that helped me a lot. Here's some pull downs. I really like doing these. I used to hate on people to do these. But once I tried them, I couldn't go back. If you don't look like this after that, you're doing something wrong. Here's some more lat pull downs. Watch my upper lats, how they curve in. You, as you look back at some of my older videos, mine did not do that at all. That's because I completely wrong form. Fix my form. As you see, I come back a little bit so I can get that extra little range of motion. Because if I don't, the way my shoulders are, they strain when I like sit straight up on that pull downs. Here's some more. You can see from the side view, my friend Trent took this video. I'm leaning back at the bottom of the rep so I can get the extra range of motion. Really pulling back and really letting it ease up, not just slinging it up. Here's some real delt flies. I prefer leaning forward on these. As you can see, I'm leaning forward, almost putting my face on the bar in front of me. But yeah, just really focus on that East Ranger movement. Here we go with some more. I'm really leaning farther in each time I go. I really like to be powerful with the first movement. On my eccentric, I like to go a lot slower. That just helps with my mind muscle connection. Going back towards the rack, I'm going way slower than my first movement. Here's some more. I, I did a drop set right here, that's why I have so many sets. Next, we got some shrugs. I put lifting straps on, because lately I've been having a problem with my grip. Not necessarily that it's weak, but the fact that like the way I grip these certain dumbbells, because these, these are the heaviest weights, they have a different grip than normal ones. Here's some bicep curls. This is an assisted preacher machine. I've been struggling with curls lately. I haven't been getting a mind muscle connection. What helped me was doing more drop sets and really focusing on my eccentric movement. So going down when it lengthens the muscle. As you can see, I'm powerful with coming up, but slow going down. And I get the partial reps in at the end. Here's a drop set. Here's some more. I think this is my second to last set. Yep. What I like to do for drop sets is drop three stacks on the plates, so like around 30 pounds, and do 12, 10 to 12 reps. Really get that movement in. Here's some new type of curls I've been doing lately. It's called spider curls. All it is is just an incline curl, just a different variant. But 
I've been having some struggles with it, with having no my muscle connection with my biceps. What helped me was moving to a, a barbell and leaning down farther on the pad, so instead of hanging off the end. Here's coming into some posing. I did this after my lap pull downs. Here's with my compression shirt on. As you can see, my lats are freaking huge in this one. This is the biggest lap pump I think I've ever had in my life. Rear delts popping through my shirt. Here we go, take, about to take it off, but here's one more little posing. I really love this back pose like this. Here's another lat spread. You can really see my lats popping in this. I will always do drop sets of my lat pull downs from now on. This pump was insane. Here we go into some shirtless practice. Really, you can see my upper lats and my, my lower lats really engaged from those lat pull downs. I don't know the name of this pose. I, I just got it from David Lade. But my chest is looking really small right here from where I haven't worked it enough. Here's the front last spread. Back to the back last spread. My rear delts are already popping through and haven't even worked them yet in this workout. Quick tip on back lat spreads. If you want to make your back look bigger, lean towards whoever's viewing it and down.